Oopsie. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your unexpected for December 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Astro Queen. Much love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Cancer. What do we got? Unexpected for Cancer. What's your December look like? All right. Eight of Swords. All right. Let me put these over here. I'm trying to get my other decks. All right. The High Priestess. Nine of Wands. Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is Pisces or Cancerian. This is Scorpio. The Hierophant, that's Taurus. The Lovers, Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. All right, let me see who we're... What did I just do with... Oh, there it is. All right. You wouldn't think it's crowded over here, but I pulled out too many decks not knowing which ones I was going to use, and then I hadn't put them back in their boxes yet. All right, Cancer. What are we dealing with here? Knight of Wands. Okay. So, interesting. So you're good by yourself. And are you debating whether you want to date or not? Or is this just somebody you might be interested in and you're just not really sure? What's... Hmm. Good Lord. Sorry. It's... Yeah, you, this is you being pretty okay with you're doing what you're doing. And this is a setback you're weathering very well. So you might not know what to do, but you're going to figure it out and you don't really need anybody else. Doesn't mean you don't want anybody else, but you're not looking for someone else to provide the security or the answers, which is good. Hmm. So you just, just, okay, what's this Nine of Wands about? Because no, you were dating and you don't, you're like, nah, no. It's this Nine of Wands. Five of Wands. Okay. What's this Knight of Wands? That could be Leo. What's this Knight of Wands? Oh. Huh. <laughs> What's this Knight of Cups? All right, you got an offer coming. Whoa. There's an offer and interest. You're actually interested in somebody making the offer here. What's this Hierophant about? The Devil. Could be Capricorn. It's this lover's card. Six of Pentacles. Wow. I don't know. What, what's this hyper? I'm I'm a little worried because here's the thing: you can do and provide for yourself, so you don't need anybody. But you end up meeting somebody that um, it it ticks all the boxes for you. You've been. For those of you that have been dating, you haven't been really finding anything fulfilling or you've kind of been disenchanted with the whole process. Just too much conflict and drama. So that's where you're kind of at right now is just staying under yourself and independent and focused on your own needs and security. But then the dilemma for December for you is um, you finally meet somebody that you're going to really hit it off with 
and is actually you're like okay you know what there's potential here and it could very well be that um you find out they're married you find out they're otherwise engaged or committed um or you find out about something that they're trying to keep hidden and that kind of throws a wrench in the works it could be that your call to action or what you want to do about this is to help them Hmm. I don't know. I think you, I think you're, for the cancers that I'm reading for, your independence and your self-sufficiency has been pretty hard won. So I think you're going to be, and it's a tough call because I think that's going to throw a curve is finding out about this, um, whatever this person's got going on that, you didn't know about, I think you're actually going to think it might be worth it to um, stick around. Maybe it'll depend on if you, you can actually help or not. Like if it's just, if it's someone that's um, cheating or something, you're like, nope. But if it's someone that's really struggling with something like maybe debt or an addiction or something, some of you might actually been like, you know what, everything else is great, but for this one thing, I don't know here. What's this Knight of Cups about? What's this Knight of Cups? Seven of Wands. What's this Hierophant about? Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Wow. Okay, uh, that's a green light. Well, <laughs> debate no more. Um, you're going to be meeting someone that you actually are going to be very interested in this month, Cancer. It's going to be up to you, though, because your independence has been hard won, like I said. And... It's, you've had trouble in the past, um, these past couple months actually dating or, or kind of just being okay with the whole process. And you're just like, you know, maybe just dating is not for me, at least through the apps. Maybe I should just kind of wait till I meet somebody through friends or something because dating apps and all that, maybe you're finding that you're not liking it. And so you, you kind of set that down. You're like, I'm just not going to deal with that for right now. I'm going to keep my focus on myself because I'm doing really good, self-sufficient, um, security's there, you know, you're able to take care of yourself and just, you're on a nice independent streak. And then you actually meet someone this month. Could be at all the festivities if you celebrate. There's a lot happening this month with holidays and whatnot. And, um, I don't know, there's something though. There's, oh, that's what it is. You are gonna have to pick back up where you left off. Okay, so just because you left a relationship doesn't mean that you left the issues, right? So you're doing good by yourself. You don't have any reflection of those issue, issues because you're not with anybody to reflect them back to you. There's no drama and trauma bouncing off of anybody and reflecting back and showing you what you still need to work on, right? Um, you're gonna meet somebody that's gonna kind of dredge all that up again, not because they're drama, um, but because it's just these issues might have been left unresolved because maybe you thought once you left the person, you left the issues and you didn't. So you're going to need to work through a few things. And it looks like um, you make the choice to do so. So you're going to get somebody, you're going to meet somebody that you're like, wow, there's potential here. And you're going to surprise yourself because the things that you thought you left behind with the last relationship, you still need to work through. Not that it's bad, not that you're bad, not that your person's bad. Um, for some of you, it could very well, you could find out that they're married. But for the Cancerians that I'm reading for, what this feels like, this whole thing feels like, is you meeting up with the issues again, because you meet someone that you're actually interested in, so your old issues of security and stability come back up that you thought were resolved, because, I mean, you're, you're pretty darn independent doing your own thing, and, you know, you've got... You're self-sufficient. You're up and running. But 
you've been that way for a while, you haven't had anybody, you haven't had anybody that you've taken seriously, so they're not a threat to your security. Well, you meet somebody that you actually want to feel vulnerable with or that you actually want to connect to. Um, we've got intimacy here and there's going to be some issues that you still need to clear out and, and manage and work on and get a handle on for you to connect and progress further with this person that might I add you do and you also think it's worth it and the person is actually going to be pretty okay with you stepping up and being brave enough to resolve that. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I got to do this in secret. Don't, don't do that because this is going to be somebody that's going to be worth it for you to say, hey, I've, I've got a thing about this and if so, if I do that, I'm sorry, but it's been a while and I just, I need you to know that that's a button for me or, well, maybe not say that, but, um, you know, that just, hey, it might be a little weird because it's, I'm rusty or something. I don't know however you want to explain it. Um, but this is someone that you could say, hey, this is an issue for me. They would be actually pretty noble about it. Pretty honorable. This is not somebody that's going to be out to hurt you. This is going to be a learning curve for you, Cancer. This person is going to be a learning curve because you're going to have to face some things that you haven't faced since the last relationship you were in. It's going to be old programming you're going to have to clear out and get rid of. You're up for it. Your person's up for it. There's potential here. But you've got some old dormant issues that you forgot about or didn't know were still an issue for you about trust, about security, about um, just what does connection mean? Does that mean that I'm one down again? Is it a threat to my being and my security connecting intimately and emotionally with someone again? Am I going to get trapped? Am I going to be stomped on? Am I going to be treated with cruelty again? Ooh, ouch. Hold on. <laughs> hmm. So that's going to be... The challenge here is two things this month, the unexpected. One, you meet somebody because you're not looking. Let's be honest. You're kind of done with the whole dating thing. You're like, meh, I'm kind of, <laughs> be honest. <laughs> you secretly think that you're better than pretty much anybody out there you've met. Let's be honest. Um, and you'd be right that sometimes it, it's like it goes in waves. It seems like I hear horror stories. <laughs> so you're just kind of over it and you're like, yeah, I sampled the, you know, the, population pool or whatever and nah, I think I'm gonna coast for a couple more months on my own it feels just better being by myself anyway because I feel like I'm just better by myself I don't, I'm not really open to connection right now anyway after seeing what's out there and then you meet somebody anyway and not only do you meet somebody anyway but they it's a nice fit and you're interested and there's potential and the person feels the same way so there's shocker, unexpected number one. The other thing is, here come those issues you thought you left behind with the, the person you were with before, your ex. And surprise, surprise, the issues are still there for you to address, which you will. You've come a long way, and it was intentional. So you've been doing the work. So you addressing the issues, um, you're going to step up. And it's the, your person is going to recognize the bravery in that and the courage in that. So all good things. It's just you're kind of like, oh, dang, I thought that was that went with the X. That was their thing. It's like, oh, no, nope, it takes two. I guess I contributed or I guess I have buttons about this that I need to address. And the thing I like, I, I just I feel like you're stepping up huge here because it takes a lot of guts and you you do that. You're not the same before. So what, what before um, could have been daunting and made you shut down and, and scurry away is you going, all right, I can do this. I got this. I've been by myself doing my own thing. I'm wiser for my experiences and I can take care of myself. So if this is keeping me from a potential good connection, I want to address it because I don't want to miss out on that. And that's exactly the attitude you should have because this person is worth it. Well, good for you. Uh, I'm a proud auntie over here. <laughs> Getting all teary-eyed. Okay. That's for cancer. That's for cancer. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I'll get it. Get it. Yay. Oh, gosh. I'm all, <laughs> I'm all worried. I'm like, oh. I, uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, hmm. 
I feel like too, you've been kind of thinking, well, you know, I'm, I'm okay by myself anyway, because I've kind of, I've dated so much and maybe I just need to be by myself. But that's kind of a thing that you hide behind because what you've been meeting, people you've been meeting, they're not, they're kind of one note. There's not a whole lot of there there, you know? Well, here comes this other one you weren't expecting. Number one, because you don't meet them through the, um, you know, standardized channels. Like, it's not like you're on dating apps. It's not like, I mean, it could be, but this feels like you meet them through friends. Um, meet him or her through friends. And then you hit it off. They feel the same, and then there's surprise. Here come the issues that you thought were resolved or were in the past. Nope. Issues of security, issues of vulnerability, intimacy, um, being open and close with somebody again. So, but you you'll step up. Don't you worry. You you think it's worth it, and you you're like I got this. I have been through hell and back. It's, I can look at myself in the mirror. I can do this. And that's, that's how you should be. So good for you. You're, you're no ninny. <laughs> you're no sissy. <laughs> you can do this. What else for cancer? Let's see. Oh, geez. Cancer. Well, now that's just rude. You throw them all over the place. That's for cancer. Oh, I just, oh gosh. I'm excited. <laughs> Look at it right here too. Mm hmm. With the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Nice of Pentacles. What else for Cancer? <laughs> oh, gosh. A rebirth is assured. Nice. Wow. It's, oh, my gosh. So, yeah, you're stepping up and you're like, oh, okay, got to take care of business, get this done. I got this. You would not believe the past six months that I have. Me looking at myself in the mirror and working on a few more things is nothing compared to what I have accomplished. I got this. So, and if, if you don't feel that way, yes, you do. <laughs> because you don't, you need to, if you don't feel that way, which I hope you do, but you've got the Hierophant and the High Priestess here backing you up. This is divine intervention, being divinely guided and led. You didn't get to where you were by yourself and they're not going to abandon you now. So... If you're scared and you're like, oh, no, no, this is not a setback. This is not something for you to shut down. Your person's got your back also, believe it or not. I mean, this this feels really solid. So, oh, geez, now I'm going to get all emotional because I'm all proud. <laughs> so, oh, I love that. A rebirth is assured. Oh, that's so nice. And this person's worth it, too. It's not like you're going to be with somebody trying to make it work or trying. No, you don't have to lower your... There's no... It just fits. It's nice. It feels good. It's like a long drink of water after a hot day. Nice. Mm. Yay. What else for cancer? What else for cancer? Got me all teary eyed. That's for cancer. Jeez. Cancer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The Ace of Cups and the King of Wands. Oh my gosh. And that this is the Knight of Wands, but still. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, have fun. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. You're going to meet somebody that's going to be, have this, like, what do you want to do today? Like this partnership in mind. Let's see what we can accomplish. Let's see where you want to go. What do you want to do? Passionate, warm, loving. Oh, how lovely. A good December awaits for you, Cancer. Wow, and I'm not making this up because you know I, I can do a deep dive and you know that sometimes this is like, oh, wow, this is not for, oh boy, they don't want to be, you know, this is not that. This is lovely. You just have to make sure your issues are in check. We all have them. It's about management, not about curing. It's about accepting and managing, not, you know, so no shame. Everybody's got luggage at this point, not baggage. And have fun. I <laughs> Okay. Um, thank you for stopping by. Much love to you. Um, happy December and good luck to you and this new beautiful person. Um, and don't you doubt yourself because you are going to step up and you're going to show up and do the thing. You got this. 
All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you again for stopping by. Um, you take care. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs>